Hello again. Welcome back to Penthouse 808 Presents, our signature cocktail series. Uh, today we're going to be making the Pineapple Express. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite cocktails. Um, this drink is an infused tequila margarita with a twist. Uh, to break it down, we're going to use pineapple infused tequila. We use uh, Don Julio Blanco, which is a really good tequila, and we infuse it for about three weeks with pineapples, as you can see here. Um, fusion is just kind of another word for uh, marinade. We basically, we prep the pineapples out, it goes in the infusion jar like this, and it sits for about three weeks before we use it. Um, for infusing pretty much any spirit or simple syrup that you want, um, it kind of works the same way. Just cut, cut whatever kind of fruit you want, let it sit for about three weeks on the refrigerator, and it'll take on the flavor of whatever you're using. Um, so to make this drink, we're going to make it the same way you would make a margarita. Um, this is a shake and pour type drink because we're going to use lime wedges like you would use in a margarita. But we want to keep these lime wedges when we're done. We don't want to strain them out and lose them. We want them kind of in the drink. So these are kind of small, so I'm going to use three. Um, we squeeze those in the drink. And then a margarita is traditionally uh, tequila, lime juice, uh, triple sec, and a little sour mix. Sour mix is a mix of uh, simple syrup and lime juice. We're going to use, we're going to make our own sour mix. Um, in this particular case, uh, we're going to use our frozen lime juice and about a full ounce of frozen lime juice. Um, triple sec and simple syrup. We're going to use a half ounce of each. A half ounce pour is like this one, two. So when I train bartenders, uh, a lot of uh, drinks take a half ounce simple syrup and triple sec as a uh, dual ingredient. So when you make a drink, that's kind of the fastest way behind the bar to do that. So you'll see a lot of bartenders doing that when they make drinks. This drink gets a half an ounce of Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier is orange liqueur. You don't want to use too much of this because it, it's pretty potent and the drink will kind of take on uh, that flavor. It'll overpower all the other flavors and you don't want that. Pomegranate juice, uh, which you can get you know, pretty much at any, any grocery store. Um, again, not too much pomegranate juice, the same kind of thing. It's kind of a uh, tart and uh, if you use too much, the whole drink kind of take on the tart flavor and you don't want that. Um, and then our Don Julio infused tequila, uh, which I have here. I'm going to work out this one. This is the tequila. I'm going to work out this. And it's about uh, an ounce and a half. What happened there is it actually uh, kind of stalled on me a little bit because the pineapples in the bottle they uh, they clog the pour top sometimes. But that's about an ounce and a half. So the bartender, you have to be aware of that. And that's pretty much it um, for. The in-house cocktails we do at the bar, again with margaritas, I tend to put a little splash of sour mix on top. You'll see me do that from time to time. Uh, that kind of helps the drink expand and uh, puts a nice rim of foam on the top of the drink. It looks really good. So we kind of use that trick for a lot of drinks. And then this is the shake and pour. So we shake. And it's going to take on the color of that pomegranate juice. The pomegranate is the most dominant color. And before that, it's going to have that kind of purple red tint to it. We're going to leave everything in there, we're not going to strain it out. The lime's going to go right in there. And you can see that foam kind of builds up at the top, and as it settles, that foam comes to the top, and that kind of holds our drink together. And we give it a straw. And a lime, because it's a margarita, margaritas get limes. And that's our drink. I'll see you next time.